What's going on, guys? Monday, MLB Baseball. Just like in all my videos, I'm going to go over every single game on the MLB slate for you guys today. Uh, if you're new to my channel, definitely hit that subscribe button and drop a like on the video as well. Definitely hit that thumbs up. I really do appreciate it when you guys get the likes up. I hope these videos are helping you guys cash more tickets, man. I really do. Uh, and speaking of cashing more tickets, it just continues. Text on the screen that went out to the client list yesterday. Another winning day. You guys got to go back a full week to find my last losing day. Of course, numbers on the bottom of the screen are always updated. Uh, pretty impressive. 109 wins, 79 losses, a 58% winning percentage in the MLB. Over my last 56 days, damn near two months, getting pretty crazy, guys. Uh, NFL preseason, seven and eight. We're just kind of getting rocking and rolling here. And college football is on Saturday. I'll be dropping my futures bets to the client list on Friday. So it's a really good time to get involved. Get on that website, even if you just want to test the waters, get that weekly package. It'll get you those future bets on Friday. You'll get all of the football this coming weekend and all the days in between, man. We're going to, we're just going to keep absolutely crushing. The MLB, dancepicks.net, link in the description. Get on the client list. It's a text message, man. You're going to get my plays, the odds of the plays, and how many units to put on each one. If you can just copy the text uh, and understand that there's going to be some losing days sprinkled in long term, uh, the money's just going to add up over time. It's an absolute no-brainer. I think that's pretty much it. TikTok link, the other links, they're all in the description as well if you're interested. Let's get to the games, man. Let's cash some more tickets for you guys. Hope everybody's doing well. Got a fresh week. If you had a tough weekend or a tough week, you know, maybe now is a good time to kind of reset mentally. Um, Arizona and the Marlins is game one here. So it's a 640 Eastern game, no daytime baseball. Mondays are generally a little bit of a smaller slate, and that's what we have here. Uh, unfortunately, this first game, I see TBD on both teams. I don't have a starting pitcher listed for either team, so I'm going to have to pass. I have no opinion to give you guys. Kind of similar situation here. No starting pitcher is listed for the Reds, but we have Gosman who's going to be going for the Blue Jays. I think this game is probably just an under type of a game. Now, with that said, there are some Reds starting pitchers that can definitely give it up. So that makes me a little bit nervous. But I think against the Reds on the road, Gosman can do pretty good here. Maybe a first five innings under. Orioles-Mets, interesting. Rodgers and Peterson. I don't know. I think they have it right. I think the Mets do deserve to be the favorite here, not minus 130. It's a mispriced game. I think we take a shot on the Orioles at plus 112 on the money line. If it was closer to a pick em, I would have leaned towards the Mets. Based on these prices, I got to take a shot with the Orioles. We cashed a plus 150 run line on them yesterday. They have a little bit of momentum. I like them on the road. They're a good road team. Plus 112 versus the Mets. I got to take a shot on the O's. Pirates, Rangers, no starting pitcher listed for the Rangers. We got Ortiz going for the Pirates. I think this is just a clear over. Over eight and a half in this game. Hard to pick a side based on the starting pitching information. Red Sox, Astros, Kikuchi, and Hauk. This has got to be another over here. Hauk could probably get absolutely lit up. Maybe just go with a team total for the Astros. Uh, but the Red Sox offense, man, it shows up at times. It shows up at times. The total's eight and a half. You can get plus 100 on the over. I think I'd be looking at over eight and a half in this one. Maybe even take a shot on uh, on a run line with the Astros. Angels and Royals, Fulmer and Lugo. Lugo has been good, but I feel like he's due for some regression here. Uh, but the Kansas City Royals offense, I always love to back them at home. I've, I've, I've cashed a few tickets with that team on the road. But them and the Brewers, man, I really like them when they're at home. I like the Royals here. I know it's super square, but they need this game. I think we lay a run line here. Royals minus one and a half plus money. It's plus 104. Not bad. Rays Athletics, we got uh, Bradley going, Boyle going. I don't know. It just feels like a snooze fest here. Um, God, the total's down at seven and a half. I think that's right where it should be. I think the game is priced accordingly. I think the Rays deserve to be a small road favorite. I think the total being at seven and a half is accurate. There's no value here. Don't bet this game. Next game. Twins, Padres, Matthews, and King. I think King can have a good outing here. Twins are another lineup where I do like the offense a little bit better at home. I think King can do good here. I do like the Padres. A little bit hesitant at minus 152 on the money line. Might just have to look at an over. I mean, the total's at seven. Um... 
but I think just based on pricing, maybe Padres on the run line is the way to go in this one. It's a plus, it's almost plus one fifty. Um, definitely, definitely tough with how good the Twins' offense has been to lay a run line here with the Padres. They just seem like they're always playing close games. Uh, they get a lot of them in the win column, but there are a lot, of, a lot of them are close. Uh, but that's probably the way I lean, just based on pricing. White Sox, White Sox and Giants going here. We got Cannon, we got Harrison. Harrison is absolutely trash in my opinion, but he's better at home. He is better at home. I mean, man, even if he's struggling, he should be able to do pretty good against the White Sox, man. How mentally engaged are these White Sox players? (sighs) It's so square. Giants minus one and a half. I mean, if you just look at the odds of how the season has gone for the White Sox, the odds are in your favor. The chance that the White Sox lose by two or more is pretty high. I guess you'd have to look at the Giants here. And then the last game here, unfortunately, I don't see any odds on my screen. I'm going to check another app here. We got Woo and Stone. I would almost imagine the Mariners might be a, a, a short favorite here. Let me go on another app, see if I can get you guys the line here. MLB, I would say at 19th, scroll down. Yeah, I got a line for you. Dodgers are a short favorite, minus 132. I think we got to look at the Mariners here, but not for the full game. I think we got to go first five innings Mariners money line or first five innings under run total under in this one. And that's the Monday slate, guys. There's some good opportunities out here. Um, I think I like three or four spots. I'm going to do my final research, make my final picks, of course, send them out to the client list, and hopefully cash yet another winning day. Again, guys, get on the list, man. Uh, use some discipline. Don't parlay my picks. Just take them as they are. Let them stack up over time. You'll be glad you did. Uh, if you guys have any questions about anything, leave them in the comments below. Leave your favorite plays today as well in the comments below. And for you parlay people who just can't give it up, why don't you go ahead and put your best parlay down in the comment section below. Um, if somebody hits one that's like crazy impressive, I'll give that person a free subscription uh, for a week here on the website. But um, yeah, hope everybody has a good day. Catch you in the next video.